Hi everyone, it's Amy and tonight I'd like to share a mini that I just got done creating. I'll try not to talk a lot so I can get to sharing this mini with you. Um, this was some good old fashioned scrapbooking here. And basically what I did was I took a recent trip to Nashville, Tennessee um, to go meet up with some wonderful, amazing girlfriends. Um, we had a blast. Um, we all met up at in Nashville and uh, went to the Wild Horse Saloon to see Rick Springfield. And this was just my trip. So everything about Nashville that I could save, I have packed into this tiny little fat mini. And um, I had it somewhat prepared before I went down, but I added a lot of pages when I got home. So it's actually like this thick now. So um, well, let me go ahead and get started because what I did was um, I had one of those books that you pick up at the airport that says Nashville and I cut apart the things, um, all the paperwork, little guitars and you know, whatever in there, just like we did when we were first scrapbooking. So it was a lot of fun, but, um, I used the, um, Villace or Vallis. Anyway, I call it the mini suitcase. I used that die to cut it all out for the the covers and some of the pages I didn't do all the pages with it though but for the charm everything about this book has meaning to to me and um, real quick um, right down to the tags that I used I put journey and inspire and then this little thing here I bought Rick Springfield a bracelet and this was hanging off of it, so I didn't think he would like that, so I took it off and I used it as a charm on here, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. And um, the girl I went with, she'll get a kick out of this, being on this mini. But um, it was really cute. But anyway, the front cover, I had an old keychain that I had, and it said Nashville. A little license plate says Tennessee. RS for Rick Springfield and 10th because it was on February 10th. And you open it up and I used some of the nestability dies to get this shape and then I printed it out in um, Scrapbook Factory and then just put some lace around it. And then here um, some pictures that I took just basically to tell the story. So I'll go through and my pictures are already added. And this is Rick's feet at um, Soundcheck. This picture here was not from the Nashville trip, but from a previous time I met Rick. But I had it in the album, so I had him sign it. And this was my my stage pass to go um, do the Soundcheck. So I put it in there. This is my autograph. <laughs> just about the flight and then I made a pocket and I distressed it all up and I saved all of my receipts to everything all my boarding passes I just stuck in there and just do some stamps it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun and uh, this one here just the airport we flew out of Washington DC and of course we flew, our planes were so little they had to um, check our bags so Got my tags, saved everything. We're done to my Dunkin' Donut receipt. And then a picture flying out of Washington. But I journaled everything, so it was so much fun. And this I met up with a dear friend. And we met at Panero, so here's my coffee sleeve. And I journaled about everything, what I ate, what we did, everything. And I made it into a pocket. And then here was his autograph. And then on this page here, I took this picture. Well, I got this picture. Somebody else took it, but um, I used it. And this here is from Pro 31 Design Store. Look how pretty that looks. And that looks like this. So I got to use this for the first time. And this stuff is beautiful. I love it. So... That's what that is and then I made another pocket and I don't know what I did here to get that dark effect but 
I saved all my receipts from everything. So they're in there. And then I took a uh, cut up part uh, menu from the Wild Horse Saloon. And this is a picture that I took. And this is my friend Debbie's hand grabbing onto Rick. And then here's one of the little guitar. It's just paper. I've cut it out of the Nashville book and stuck it in there, just glued one of the edges down, and then put a picture of Rick behind there. This was on one of his brochures, and this was his kind of logo back here, and I just kind of used it as a background. And this little cameo here is also from Pro 31 Designs. It's so beautiful. Look at it. I love it. And there's roses in here because Rick's this year is called Shattered Roses so I thought it was appropriate to put that in there and then there's this page although I ran out of an eye so I got to find an eye another nestability die and my tickets I just stuck it all in there another I cut it apart the uh, Ticketmaster. I think my friend Claire took this picture and she was the one that I made the Ziz box for. And then I made this little pocket here. Just a lot of fun. This was during sound check. This was a screen at the concert. It just goes back in there. So it was a lot of fun. All the little embellishments, cutting up all the little things. And there's that. There's me drinking my 12, almost $13 drink. And then here's a group picture of all of us. We had so much fun. Rick was Rick was super, super nice. And this here bling is also from Pro 31 Designs. And then, like I said, it was just kind of like all good old fashioned scrapbooking. I just have a little piano keyboard there. The rest were really just pictures. Oh, and look guys, those of you who've seen the video on the Ziz box that I made for Claire, this was Rick's expression when he seen it. Uh, so I'm not going to focus, but it's so cute. I love it. Love it. It was so much fun. The thick page. Yep, just one thick page there. There's some more. And then I just stuck these little ones in here. And this here is also, this little trim down here is from Pro 31 Designs. And that looks like this. So this was also a lot of fun to work with. And it just added a little bit of elegance to these plain pages of just the pictures. But basically, I just wanted to focus on the pictures. Can see just a lot of pictures, a lot of journaling. And this here bling is also from Pro 31 Design Store. As well as this red trim. Love this dimensional trim. You see that? It's so pretty. So fun to work with. And then I just, like I said, I cut up uh, the map that we got when we got to the hotel. This is just some shots of downtown Nashville. And some more trim from Esmeralda store, um, Pro 31 Designs. And this is the map of our hotel. We stayed at the Gaylord Opryland. It was beautiful. Just beautiful. Loved it. Um... But anyway, this is the map, so I just stuck it in here, 
And this here I stuck in here because the guy that um, when we rented our car, he wrote down some places for us to check out. So I thought I'll keep that. So it's in the book. And check out this little guitar paper clip. I also have one at the beginning of, of the book too. It's so cute. It's right here. It's so cute. So, and then just more pictures. And our room key. And the sleeve for the room key. More pictures of the hotel. And then my goal was is to have all my friends sign my book, but everything went so fast, they only had a few of them sign it. So unfortunately, I didn't get everybody, but I did get some of them. So there they are. And this is one. This is Matt. He signed my book and allowed me to get a picture with him. And then I bought a postcard, and then I stamped this on here. Isn't this a cool stamp? Love it. And then the back, and this is some more Pro 31 Design Source trim. And this is Rick on the stage, and of course you can see all the roses on the, the stage. And then here are some of the roses that I, I kept from that concert. So, anyway, there is my mini. And I also was lucky enough, here's some more rose petals, but I was also lucky enough to get one of Rick Springfield's picks. And it's probably going to go in my book. I just haven't decided how to put it in there because I, I treasure this. I'll treasure this always. So um, I just wanted to share that with everybody. And I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching. Take care. Bye.